Good morning, Beacons. You look really good. Family members, you look good too. So nice job today. Um, everyone looks sharp. And reminded today that today is a very good day and this is an exciting ceremony. Graduates, as I take just a minute selfishly to look out at you, I'm reminded that you are the gritty COVID class. You are the resilient ones. You are the mighty bunch and know that we are extremely proud of you. We are also extremely excited to watch what you do next and know what an honor it is to open your commencement um, and this special event in prayer. So that being said, um, if the rest of the audience will stand, if you are able, gentlemen, you are allowed to remove your caps and let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, you are the source of all that is good. You are our creator and our provider. We come to you on this joyous day with thankful hearts. We are so very proud of our graduates, their accomplishments, and their time at Bushnell. We thank you for the constant support and love that they have felt from their families, loved ones, and mentors. May our graduates give you all the learning, the effort, the focus, and the hard work of these past years as an offering to you. We pour out our gifts into your hands and may our students hold the memory of Bushnell in their hearts as they continue on their adventure. And most importantly, Lord, we pray for our graduates that they may fulfill the calling in which you have instilled in each of them. And it is in your heavenly name that we pray and God's people said, Amen. You may be seated. Family and friends of the graduating class, distinguished faculty and staff, members of our board of trustees and our honored graduates of 2023. Welcome to this commencement service. This exercise represents a venerated tradition that goes back on this campus nearly 130 years and is emblematic of what we hold dear at Bushnell University. We're pausing this morning, this morning to recognize achievement and celebrate the fact that these gathered here have reached their long sought and well earned destination. Graduates, we want you to know that your faculty and staff are especially proud of your accomplishments and celebrate you today. We applaud you for your faith and your diligence and encourage you to rejoice fully in the hard work and dedication that has brought you to this significant milestone today. For you graduates, Allow me a short moment to encourage you, however, not to linger in that moment long. Enjoy it, rest in it a moment, but venture beyond it with deep conviction and great hope because conviction and hope will mark how you respond to the challenges life will bring you in the years ahead. Those of you meeting the demanding requirements for graduation have proven yourself worthy of recognition. Perhaps above all else, you have learned to seek well what God would have you know and what God and how God would have you apply the many blessings you have received to the service of others. You have through your experience as a student at Bushnell moved beyond the mere accumulation of knowledge and technical skill to grow in wisdom, to grow in faith and be inspired to serve. And today you receive your degree. And it's my deepest hope that through your experience here as Beacons, you've also clarified your calling to be salt in light in our world, a world and culture so desperately in need. So today, graduates, you've arrived at a milestone or a milepost rather than a destination. The talents 
obtained in methods of inquiry and evaluation, reasoning and communication together with the faith examined, tested, and made more alive by mentors and friends, you will continue to mature as your new explorations are made. And with that said, let's not miss the fact that this moment is about you and what you've achieved. So it's my honor to say to you this morning, well done indeed. I'm pleased to introduce those with me on the platform today. From your right in the back row, uh, Dr. Paul Blazine, who served as our Interim Dean of Students this year, Gene DeYoung, the Vice President for Finance and Administration, Jocelyn Hubbs, Vice President for Student Development, Keith Potter, Vice President for University Advancement, Michael Fuller, Vice President of Enrollment, Suzanne Price, our Associate Dean of Education, Dr. Latricia Nyworth, Dean of Business, Leadership, and Technology. And in the front row, Dr. Reed Mueller, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Kim Williams, the Chair of the Board of Trustees of Bushnell University, and Delisa Mission Tubby, Board Member and our honored speaker this morning. Delisa is the Executive Director of the Volunteers of Medicine here in Eugene. She's also ordained through the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church and pastors St. Mark's CME Church here in town. I already mentioned that she's a member of the Board of Trustees at Bushnell University, but she's also the Chair of Sacred Heart Medical Center's Community Health Board, a board member at Shelter Care, the Eugene Area Commerce, United Way of Lane County, Pearl Buck Center, Pacific Cascade Credit Union, Strides for Justice, and probably four or five more other things. I don't know. I'm not sure how she's even here today. <laughs> Delisa is wife to Norval, mom to three children, two bonus daughters, and grandma to a very cool young man, Isaiah. She earned her bachelor's degree in healthcare administration from Ashworth University and has several specialized medical certifications. Delisa's notable contributions to our community through the business and community service along with her tireless energy earned her the distinction of the 2022 Eugene Area Chamber of Commerce prestigious First Citizens Award. We're very proud of that. And in 2019, she was named the Chamber's Woman of the Year. Her kindness and compassion coupled with her graciousness and willingness to lend a hand are well known. Her passion and commitment to the medically under, underserved is inspiring and her love for her congregation infectious. Her heart for Jesus shines through everything she does and she's truly a light in our community and on our campus. And it is a delight to have her here with us this morning to speak truth and wisdom for our graduates and all of us in attendance today. Following the reading of scripture by our chair, Kim Williams, we will welcome Delisa as our guest speaker today. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to start off by reading this to you and no way does this make me think that you're that juvenile to read it to you, but it is something that carries us forward. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. These are the words from, oh, the places they'll go, from Dr. Seuss. 
Uh, but today I want to talk to you about all the places you can go. See, in Dr. Seuss's book, he's talking about you steering yourself. But in the passage of scripture that was just read, read, the word of God is telling us to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend upon your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. You're here today because you've reached a milestone. Some of you know what you're going to do after this day, and some of you are saying, now what? <laughs> well, with the now what comes the trust the Lord with all of your heart. Stop trying to figure it out when God has already worked it out. Seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. You have put in the work, you have put in the time, and now you are so close to the finish line. See how that kind of rhymed a little bit? Sorry. You did this by trusting and depending on the people, the tools, and the grace that God has given you here at Bushnell. He hasn't steered you wrong yet, and he is not about to start now. How do we get God's guidance? We get this by seeking God in all that we do. Do not lose the value of this accomplishment. Enjoy the moment. Give God thanks for this moment. Enjoy the victory. Remember the good times you have had here, and yes, remember the bad times too. Remember the good friends you've made along the way, and know that trusting the Lord is what has gotten you here. This stepping stone right here is laying the foundation for the future of your lives. Any anxiety, any doubts, and any fears that you are having, take and give them to the Lord, as he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is what has brought you to this moment in time, and he will take you to the next moment. All you have to do is trust him, lean on him, but most of all, continue to seek him. Bushnell has a tagline that I love, and it is wisdom, faith, and service. My closing words, and I did say my closing words because I've learned this morning, it's not about me, but it's about you and your family and everything you've done to get to this moment. But the taglines is the wisdom, faith, and service. I ask you on this day to take the wisdom you have gained here at Bushnell, activate it with the faith you have in the Lord, and go out and be the servant the Lord has called you to be. Again, I say to you, and especially to the families, because you didn't go through this by yourselves, graduates. Families went through it with you. The tears, the happiness, all of the above, the families shared that with you. And not just your families, your instructors, your professors, the staff here, and your community. We are so proud of you. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Never minimize what you have accomplished here. May it truly enhance your lives as you enter into a new season. May the Lord's blessings be upon you all. And I'm going to leave you with this. Just think of all the places when you will go when you put your trust in the Lord. Thank you. try to make it on my own Every time I've tried to stand I start to fall And all those lonely roads that I've traveled on There was Jesus When the 
the life I built came crashing to the ground And when the friends I had were nowhere to be found I couldn't see it then, but I can see it now There was Jesus Jaden, Taylor, Chase, Samuel, Isaac, and Tyler, that is the equivalent of a commencement service mic drop. <laughs> I will 
miss your voices. And you messed me up, so we're going to have to take a second. Um, Bushnell University, says so right here on my page, so I'll start reading and get my act together, is first and foremost a teaching institution. But we are also an institution that takes pride in our efforts to develop the whole person through scholarship, the deepening of faith, and the formation of character. The President's Award for Teaching Excellence and Campus Leadership is presented each year to honor not only an excellent professor, but also a mentor and teacher who models the kind of leadership and service we strive to teach our students. The recipient of this award receives a cash prize of $1,000 and an engraved plaque. I assume the plaque is more valuable to the recipients. Um, the perpetual plaque is maintained in the Pamayevich Hall and includes the names of all past recipients. The selection committee reviewed nominations from the entire campus community and, and chose the faculty member it felt best demonstrated through actions and outcomes teaching excellence and campus leadership this year. Qualities that commend this year's winner include excellence in scholarship and genuine care of others. Some comments from the nominations that were sent in uh, read this way, she works tirelessly to present and engage, to be present and engage with her students, receives her students with compassion and grace and is available, empathetic, and brings expertise and professionalism to her teacher or to her students. Nominated by faculty, staff, and students, the 2023 President's Award for Teaching Excellence in Campus Leadership is presented this year to Mindy Barda, Assistant Professor of Counseling. The President's Award for Exemplary Staff Performance in Campus Leadership is presented each year to honor not only an excellent staff worker, but also a staff member who models the kind of leadership we strive to teach our students. This recipient will also receive a cash prize and an engraved plaque, and there will be a perpetual plaque maintained in Pamayevich Hall that includes the names of all past winners. Selection Committee reviewed nominations from the entire campus community and chose a staff member it felt demonstrated uh, the highest of professional standards, ethical decision making, a commitment to building the strength of their department and the campus overall, and an effective integration of faith and service in the workplace. Qualities that commend this year's winner include leadership and service, and here are some of the comments from their nominations. Her faith is apparent in the way she interacts with students at all times. She's encouraging, positive, and a leader who is able to maximize her team's strengths. She's a wonderful co-worker, student advocate, and recognizes the potential of those around her. The 2023 President's Award for Exemplary Staff Performance and Campus Leadership is awarded this year to our Senior Director of Enrollment Services, Sarah Slater. Right. 
Each year the President's Scholastic Award is presented to the graduating senior who has attained the highest accumulative GPA with at least 61 credits having been completed at Bushnell. The highest cumulative GPA this year was actually literally a tie and I made them double check. I don't like ties generally but this is a good thing so we may as well accept it. Earning a perfect 4.0 GPA each with 110 hours taken at Bushnell University. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology and competing at the conference championship in track and field today is Rebecca Kuski. She could not be here. So she's being honored in, in, in another way in, in Eastern Oregon today, but her compadre in this wonderful award, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in uh, Teacher Education, Miss Aspen Slifka. Each year at commencement services, a special award of a Bible is given to the student chosen with secret ballot by the student body and faculty of Bushnell University as the one who has rendered the most outstanding service to the institution in their time as a student. Recipient must have maintained excellent academic work, be evident and fully approved as to their Christian character and convictions, and show a notable record of service and concern to others. This award was instituted as the Dr. Kendall E. Burke Memorial Award in recognition of the late President Burke's wholehearted Christian service to the university. Past honorees of this Bushnell's highest honor reads as a who's who of Bushnell graduates and is presented this year to Preston Ferry, graduating. <laughs> Preston's graduating with a bachelor's degree in exercise science. I should have said that first before I said his name because you got too excited and I couldn't <laughs> couldn't get, get that in. You ready to go? Now we get to the nitty gritty. Yes, we do. All right. President Womack, this morning we have 120 students graduating as the Bushnell class of 2023. Mm -hmm. If we factor in the number of students who graduated in December 2022, that brings us to a total of 212 graduates during this academic year. As I look out into the audience, we can see that even that number doesn't begin to capture all the work that has gone into this celebration today. Class of 2023, your accomplishment that we recognize here today involves your own efforts plus the efforts of a much larger support group. Moms, dads, siblings, spouses, significant others, friends, mentors, who have worked behind the scenes to empower and enable you to reach this point. And we know also that your professors, seated here behind you and in support of you, have been a support as well. And the Bushnell staff and trustees have been crucial to your success too. 
not to mention the countless donors to scholarship funds, capital resources, and the Beacon Fund for excellence. And then there are the nameless others whose moral support and prayers have carried you to this day. This is the celebration of an effort much greater than is often assumed. President Womack, comprised of 84 bachelor's students, one of whom earned not one, but two bachelor's degrees, 32 master's students, and four graduate certificate students, the Bushnell University class of 2023 features 44 students who are graduating with honors. Cum laude, 3.5 to 3.69 cumulative GPA. Magna cum laude, 3.7 to 3.89 GPA. And summa cum laude, 3.9 to 4.0 GPA. Additionally, this spring, we are graduating one more student from our prestigious Song Nai Ri Honors Program. Will all the candidates for undergraduate degrees please stand and remain in place. President Womack, I am pleased to present to you these candidates who have completed the requirements established by the faculty for their degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. By the order of the Board of Trustees of Bushnell University and the virtue of the authority vested in me, I now confer upon you these candidates, the degrees of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelors of Science, respectively, and admit you to the honor, rights, and privileges thereto. All right. All right, we're almost there. Please be seated. Before I invite the graduates to come forward and the Reverend Dr. Swoboda to announce their names, it is my distinct pleasure to present this year's Song Nai Ri Honors Scholar. The Song Nai Ri Honors Program at Bushnell University is named for legendary professor emeritus Dr. Song Nai Ri of the class of 1958. The Honors Program exists as a college within a college where students can pursue independent projects of research under the guidance of individual professors. Honor scholars, like Dr. Song Nai Ri, blaze unique roots in their pursuit of their education. The Song Nai Ri's Honors Program seeks to accomplish the university's commitment to providing all students with excellent educational experiences suited to their gifts and vocation. As such, the program provides students a more rigorous engagement within their field of study, including a minimum of 30 credit hours and the completion of honors credits and the completion and defense of an honors thesis. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, having a concentration in Sports and Recreation Management, and also minors in accounting and in leadership, our Song Nai Ri Honors Scholar this spring is Jameson R. Hansen. Jameson, please come forward. Will the graduates please come forward? Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Christian Ministry and a Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Jenna Marie Ullery. <laughs> 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 
graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Christian Ministry, Isaac Johnston. Anna Lee Elizabeth McIntosh. <laughs> Braden Scott Abbott, summa cum laude. Tyler Charles King, summa cum laude. Chase Dean. Taylor Raylin Bryant, cum laude. Mason William Delamarter, cum laude. <laughs> Bethany Lorraine Taylor. Bible and Theology, Michael David Frank, magna cum laude. <laughs> History, Kelsey Marie Smith, summa cum laude. Interdisciplinary Studies, Madison Murray Trueblood. <laughs> Autumn Mana Olana Archangel, cum laude. <laughs> Samuel Luke Hader. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Music, Hannah Elizabeth Duncan. <laughs> Tyler K. Powell, magna cum laude. Jaden Elise Brunhaver. <laughs> Kaylin Elizabeth Carmen Camelamella. Isaiah Christian Robles. <laughs> Peyton Johanna Jones, summa cum laude. Kinesiology, Sarah Solomon Estefanos. <laughs> Bailey Irene Reed, magna cum laude.
Haley Brienne Hansen. Exercise Science, Matthew Vance Shepard. <laughs> Crystal Akagi, cum laude. Cum laude. <laughs> Anika Quinn McCall. Preston Kaleo Ferry, cum laude. <laughs> Teacher Education, Emily McDonald. Grace Larkin, magna cum laude. <laughs> Faith Burghardt. <laughs> Rebecca Jolene Potts. Harmony Stevens, summa cum laude. Aspen Slifka, summa cum laude. Mathematics, David Schwartz. Courtney Weinberger, summa cum laude. Andrew Lindley, summa cum laude. <laughs> Business administration. Jacob N. Lilly, magna cum laude. <laughs> Paul Hader, cum laude. <laughs> Kyle John Ari Jr. Michael J. Maze, magna cum laude. Trenton Michael Huff. Ali Katharina Newman, summa cum laude. <laughs> Peyton Noel Ritchie, summa cum laude. <laughs> Leslie Nicole Reynaga. Evan Tom Thomas Zuvich. <laughs> 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 
Hannah Lynn Shepard, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Audrey Jarvis. Savannah Marler, summa cum laude. Kristen Michelle Vincent, magna cum laude. Interdisciplinary studies. Taylor Matichuk. Congratulations. Zach Fuller. Joseph R. Washburn, cum laude. Matthew Michael Hubbs. Caden Reese Stubbs. Brianna Kaline, Kaline Sachiko Yoshida. <laughs> Caleb John Shore. Caden Sand. Kem Kemi Deshaw. <laughs> Dakota Zachary Dean. Madeline Catherine O'Brien. <laughs> Accounting. Madison Taylor Clark, summa cum laude. Alexis Nyla Whitney Heenan, magna cum laude. <laughs> Carissa Navarro, magna cum laude. Brittany Bolding. Adriana Marie Rusk, summa cum laude. Kilano Half Moon Lloyd. Faith R. Palmer, cum laude. <laughs> Sarah Phillips. Yeah. 
Juan M. Palacios Vargas. Akiva Gavin Wikra Maratna. Karina Pfeiffer. <laughs> Nursing. Chelsea Jane Lay. Will all the candidates for graduate degrees please stand? <laughs> President Womack, I am pleased to present to you these candidates who have completed the requirements established by the faculty for the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Science, and graduate certificates in education. By the order of the Board of Trustees of Bushnell University and by the virtue of the authority vested in me, I now confirm upon these candidates the respective graduate degrees, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Science, and graduate certificates in education and admit these candidates to the rights honors and privileges pertaining thereto. Will these graduates please come forward? Graduating with a Master's of Science in Nursing, Rachel Alina Ochoa. <laughs> Graduating with a Master's of Arts in Teaching, William Andrew Jones. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Critchett. That's awesome. And Anna Aaron's Wellman. <laughs> Avery Elizabeth Keller. Mackenzie Vogel. Annie Makyadath Helbling. <laughs> 
School Counseling, Kendra L. Stenland. Rachel Louise Perrick. Casey Ann Tallman Anderson. Megan Elizabeth Holsapel. <laughs> Ava McCola. Leadership, Ariana Locke. <laughs> Ali Gertson. Melissa Marie Stock. <laughs> Aubrey Rose Ammons Jackson. Sarah Renneker. Brooke Taylor Molina. Rochelle Ferris. <laughs> Graduating with a Master's of Business Administration, John David Schiffer. Ariel Camacho Perman. <laughs> Caleb Watson. Jonathan Allen Boggs. <laughs> M 
Marina Kathy Withrow. Shelly A. Williams. <laughs> Graduating with a Master's of Education, McKenna Northern. We'll let McKenna get back to her seat. She's the last one through we always make a little fun of. Everyone's watching. Congratulations, all of you. <laughs> Before we conclude, I want you to know just how very, very proud we are of you. Gradu graduating with your degree, this achievement is evidence of your standing the test, that your resolve has shown through, and your willingness to stay the course and keep the faith is a testimony to your intellect and character. And such an experience will serve you well. You'll face obstacles every day of your life, and they may come suddenly and without warning, and you'll be, you'll be confronted with important questions as to how to handle this obstacle or that, or how to overcome life's complication with any degree of confidence. In the 12th back chapter of the book of Isaiah, we read this. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. So graduates, I want to encourage you to stand firm in the faith that God is who he says he is. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and end. And remember, wherever you serve and whatever the nature of that service is to be, that nothing is too difficult for our God to help you overcome. You are now a part of the living history of this special place, and we urge you to remain engaged in the life of the university as alumni, even as you shine your beacon to meet today's challenges and spread hope in our world. And so now, graduates, will you please stand? Symbolic of the achievement of your degree, undergraduate students, you may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. Ooh. Graduate students, you know, straighten your hoods, okay, because you're going to get a lot of pictures taken here in a minute. It has been our joy, quite, quite literally, to journey along this path with you. And we stand on tiptoe to see how the Lord will use you in the years to come. As you exercise wisdom in the workplace and all of your endeavors, as you center yourself and your faith on Jesus Christ to live out committed lives to his service. We're excited to bear witness. Most, my most sincere congratulations to each and every one of you today. So I invite everyone to stand and applaud them now, right? They're worth it.
And I'll ask you to remain standing as we sing our alma mater, and after we have done singing that, Dr. Paul Blazine will offer our benediction. Thank you for indulging me as I offer my congratulations and extend God's blessings to you graduates of Bushnell University. Our benediction this morning comes from Paul's prayer to the Philippians, or Paul's prayer for the Philippians, where he says, and this is my prayer, that our love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that we may be able to discern what is best and be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Amen. <laughs>